Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. Today I am going to create a ASP.NET web application and for my first uh, application I am going to focus on ASP.NET Web API. Uh, why I choose Web API? Because it's the widely used means of providing data into uh, the HTML frontend uh, applications which are built in either uh, Angular, Amber or React and also this is the means of providing data to mobile frontend. For creating the web API application I'm going to use Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition and you can download it from Google. You can just say Visual Studio 27 Community go to the download link and hit download. For the interest of time, I already downloaded and installed the Visual Studio. So all I'm going to do is open it from my desktop. Once the Visual Studio is open, I'm going to create a new project. For that, I'm going to keep the option of ASP.NET Core Web Application and I'm going to name it as my first web application. I'm going to hit OK and once I click OK it will pop up the next window where I have option to select either a empty project, a web API, a web application, a model view controller or three types of HTML based application. I'm going to go with web API and as you can see here, I have an option to go with .NET Core or .NET Framework. I'm going to keep it as .NET Core. For the time being, I'm not going to focus on Docker support or anything else. I'm going to create a plain vanilla web API application. I'm clicking OK. And once I click OK, it is going to create the necessary scaffolding required for a basic ASP.NET web API application. Once this is created, we basically have three files, um, the values controller.cs, program.cs and the startup.cs. I'm going to start with program.cs because that's the entry point to our application. In program.cs we have the main method and the main method, the only thing we are doing is essentially calling the build web host. The build web host method all it is doing is it is doing a web host dot create default builder and then use a startup class and then call the build function to it. So all this is doing is essentially creating a Kestrel web server with the default configuration. The startup class provided here is the bootstrapping class which provides hook into different functions of the web server pipeline. So I'm going to open the startup.cs. Startup.cs is a convention based class where the framework looks for these two particular functions configure services and configure. These both of these functions are optional. If these are provided the framework are going to call this. If not then it is not. The configure services is the service which is used for adding services to the container, the default container which is provided by ASP.NET Core. And the configure is essentially the place where you would add different filters to the HTTP pipeline, to the HTTP request pipeline. For the time being, I'm just going to keep the default implementation for both the methods. In configure services, we're just going to add the MVC into the container and in configure we're just going to use the MVC into the request pipeline. Next I'm going to take a look into values controller. So if we look into the values controller it is a standard web API controller which exists uh, in ASP.NET non-core ASP.NET application as well. This is the ASP.NET web API which is part of .NET framework even today. It has standard get, get, post, put, and the lit method. The get has a default implementation of returning a couple of strings. So it's the get with the ID. 
and now we are going to run the application so for that we have options to run as IIS express or self host my preference is using self host uh, and for self host I just have to select the my first web application or essentially the console name that you have provided so I'm going to select this one and click on run the run should open up a console starting the Castrol web server behind the scene and hosting the website so once I do that the console application starts and uh, once the console is started it takes me to the browser with the local host and calling the get API so this is the simplest possible implementation of uh, .NET ASP.NET Core Web API in the next video I'm going to get a little bit deeper into the web API and try to start building an application using some crowd operation thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel